Alrighty guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about the basics of SketchUp and how to get you started in the program. So first of all, you want to make sure that you have downloaded SketchUp Make or SketchUp Pro. Alright, and then we want to start by opening the program. Okay, so I'm going to come here to my programs, and double click on SketchUp. Okay, you can see here this window has opened. I'm offline currently, um, which is fine. You can be connected to the internet or not, that's up to you. And what we want to do is we want to come to this templates tab and click the down arrow. All right. So what we want to do first is we want to scroll through this list and we want to find architectural design millimeters. Okay. The reason we're choosing millimeters is because in Australia, that is the standard construction measurement. So here it is, architectural design millimeters. So once it's selected and highlighted blue, we click start using SketchUp. Alrighty, and here we go. So this is what my SketchUp looks like. So at the top, you can see I've got SketchUp Pro, yours might be SketchUp Make. Okay, there are just a few different features between the two, um, but SketchUp Make is perfectly fine for most users. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to add some tools to what you can see. You may be able to see some tools already. Um, if you can, that's fine. We're still going to customize these a little bit. So the first thing we want to go do is click on view and we want to go tool palettes. We're going to say large tool set. And you can see I've got this large tool set here. Okay, which has some tools on it. The next thing we want to do is we want to click view again and we're going to come down and click customize toolbar. All right, and this brings down this drop down menu. This looks a little bit different between Mac and PC. Okay, so if you're on a Mac, what we want to do is we want to click and drag some of the tools that we're going to need up to the top of our window. Okay, so the three main tools that you guys are going to need is standard views, styles, and measurements. Okay. In order to add a tool to the top of our toolbar, what we do is we click on it and we drag it up the top. Okay. And you guys can see that it has added itself to the top of my tool set. And I'm going to add styles and I'm going to add measurements as well. Okay. If there are any other tools in this section that you think might be useful, you can see a lot of them are duplicates of what we have on the left here. So it's really up to you what you want to do. For the time being, I'm going to leave just these three and I am choosing icon and text down the bottom here. Okay, just so I can see the names of them as well. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to click done. Okay, so now we can see that we've got our main tools here. I'm just going to see if I can make my large tool palette a little bigger. Okay. Um, but that's okay. So here we are and we're kind of ready to go. Okay. You can see that we have a person in front of us. Now different versions of SketchUp have different people, men, women, some in pants, some in dresses, all kinds of things. Okay. So this is to give an indication of scale. Now when we're first using SketchUp, we don't need a person. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to delete him. So what we do is we click on him and he becomes blue. If something is blue, it means it's selected. Okay. And all we do is hit delete and our person has been deleted. Okay. So the thing that we want to think about when we're drawing in SketchUp is these three axes. Okay. We've got blue, green, and red. So our blue is our vertical. Okay. And our green and our red are horizontal. All right. So when we draw anything in SketchUp, it's really good. It's a really good idea to keep in mind those colors of your verticals. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing a line. Okay, so to get to the line tool, I can either come over here and click on the pencil, or I can hit L on my keyboard and it automatically takes me into the pencil tool. Now I'm just going to click in the space over here, and you can see as I drag my mouse out, so click and drag, it becomes green if I go this way, which means it's straight and in line or parallel with our green axis. If I then move my mouse down and it becomes red. Okay. So again, that means it's parallel with the red axis. 
or axis. Then I can move my mouse towards the top of the screen and it becomes blue, which means it's perfectly straight and vertical. All right, so what we need to remember when we're drawing in SketchUp is that if the line is black and not the same color as one of our axis or axi, sorry, we are drawing on an angle, which means the line is not straight. All right, so that's really important to remember and that will make more sense as we go along, okay? Another really important thing to remember when we're in SketchUp is you need to save regularly. Okay, it's a free program, so sometimes it can crash. All right, so Command S, all right, automatically takes you into the saving window. And you guys can save this as whatever you want. Okay, so working file one, introduction to SketchUp, anything like that. So I'm going to call it intro to SketchUp. All right, and I'm just going to save it in my documents as a SketchUp model. All righty. Um, so that's also really important to remember. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is now that we have created your basically your template with these things at the top, we always want it to open with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is file, save as template, and you guys can call it whatever you want. So I am going to call this so Australian Standard SKP file. Okay, which means it's set up in millimeters and ready to go. All right, so if you set and click make sure, and if you tick, sorry, set as default template, it will all, SketchUp will always open with this template. So I'm gonna click save. All right, so that's ready to go as well. Now, the only other things you really need to know before we jump into some tools, okay, is how to move around in SketchUp, okay? So there are two main tools that we use for that. One is the hand, okay, and it actually looks like a hand. If you come over to your tool set, you can see it's a hand, and it's called pan. And if you hit H on your keyboard, you can see a white hand appear on your screen, and that allows you to click and drag and move across the screen. Okay, the other tool that we have is our orbit tool, okay, which looks like this, all right, so it's like two arrows going around each other, one's green and one's red. To get into this tool, we hit O for orbit. That allows us to move around. Okay, you can see I am slowly moving around my axis. All right, this is, these tools may seem relatively simple now, but it can be a bit hard to get used to these different tools. Okay, so just remember um, that you need to keep practicing. Okay, so you guys are set up in SketchUp and ready to go. All right. So it's a really basic introduction to the interface of SketchUp.